All right, welcome back to another episode of Game Crafters, and today we're going to be trying to finish up the last two things that we got to do here in the events department, or cutscenes, or whatever you want to call them, really. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Okay, so what we're doing here is simple. We need to have this thing activate, but it needs to be read by default. There's a few things here that I feel like I need to do in order to make this work properly. First things first, I am quite curious, what exactly is this one from? Because we have two of these things here. And it would make sense as to, uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, the uh, point of interest stuff. Is this what I have right here? If I do this, does that disappear? Yep. All right, good. Because I don't know if I am using this in one area. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to make these red by default. I think most of these aren't that important. But I'll make all of them red anyways. There we go. And we'll have a system in place that changes this from red to green. Uh, material objects, put finish here and all of them. There. So that's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look red and unactivated. Also, there's some weird lighting thing that's occurring for some reason because uh, I messed around with the what lighting here. I still don't know the best way to go about fixing that. I really don't. Like, I go, I go into rendering. I go into lighting. What what are what are we doing here? Hmm? What do we do to make it so that the lighting here isn't like completely darkened? Is this like it? Because obviously, with the way this is, this is all metallic. I mean, if it could stay like that, actually, hold on a second. Oh, also, by the way, I got some levels built. I got all the levels built. Thankfully, going through and changing all of these isn't that big of a problem. I gotta go over to here, go over to here. Did it change? Nah, it's only one level, I thought. I selected all of them. Nah, it's still doing that very bright nonsense. Trying to figure out what's the best way to fix that. Like, put this at like 0 0.5? No, 0 0.75? I don't know. All I know is I gotta do something with the lighting here, and I really don't know how to go about doing this. Because what I did was generate light here. But I don't know if this is actually doing anything. Yeah, it is doing something. What was this at before? One? Problem is, I don't think having added color would help. I really don't know what would be the best way to fix this. Gradients... I don't know, it seems too dark. There's something I have to do here. I just don't know what. I'll leave that at that for now. I really wish I knew what I could do to make it so that the lighting stays the same. Because, I actually, I could probably show you this right now. Uh, well, not with this as is. 0.75. Yeah, at least 0.75 is good. So if I go into here, watch this. I don't know if I showed you this. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Stop selecting everything. I don't know what button I pressed to select everything. But if I go into here, like so, it's going to look normal, right? Except now with all the stuff that I have changed up here. But if I were to go into, say, let's see. The main menu, for example. Go in. Then we just return as soon as this is done loading. It's going to look like this. It's all dark up here. I don't know how to fix that. I really don't know, and I really wish there was a way to go in and figure out what the problem there is, but I can't right now. 
Not even if I had, were to have it generated won't help. Oh, now this does look a bit off with the way that's set. God damn, why did I mess up with the window here? Hold on, let me go back into rendering real quick and bring this back up to one again. You know, I don't think that's going to help. Color doesn't do much. Still bright as all hell for some reason. Custom? What is this? Right, environmental reflections. Uncompress, compress, auto, custom. Zero? I wish I knew what any of this stuff did. There's a list of 16, 128. This is just literally messing around with something I don't need to be messing around with right now. Hmm. If it's too dark, then it's not good enough. Unless now it's fixed. Oh no, not fixed, quote unquote. Now if I were to go back to here and make these all 0 0.5. Now it's still too dark. I really wish I knew what your malfunction was, game. Was it because of that? Thing is, it's not going to help. I got to figure out what's causing this issue. What's causing the lighting to be what it is. For now, I'll just put these on smooth lighting. Or smooth. Seems to be working just fine. Well, we're here to work on this right now, so let's just not worry about that when the time comes to worry about it. I just don't know the exact reasoning behind, you know, how that works. What it does, what, like, causes it to do the thing that it, it does. To have the, whoops, to have the lighting basically just change depending on where you start your rendering from. Because if I were to render this game from here, everything here would look fine. But if I were to render it, say, in the main menu, then everything would just look terrible. Except for the levels, of course, because the main menu and the levels share the same lighting thing. It has to be something to do with this. Or like, it's like some kind of rendering thing. I just don't know what yet. It's confusing. Like, there's, I don't know the best way to search on Google what the potential fix for my problem is. So, if anybody out there is watching this and see me messing around with this and showing you the things that causes the entirety of the scene to change to dark or normal... Give me a reason as to why that's occurring, because I'm going into here when I look up some things, and auto-generate is not clickable. I don't know what this is. I don't know how to do anything with this. Maybe I need to get a light setting and it stays permanent there, but I've tried that, and it doesn't really work as well as I'd hoped. Matter of fact, it actually makes it worse, makes it darker somehow. You would think, oh, maybe the game would just automatically do its thing and uh, leave it there. But no, it's like, no, nah, let's just change this to dark all of a sudden for no reason whatsoever. Other than to just be a pain in the ass. Uh, whatever. I can't do anything about it right now. What I can do, however. Let's see. Let me remind myself how this fully fu oh, this whole thing worked. Right, so event sequence is equal to two. An event played. Right. So I basically just have to copy what I have here with this. Well, maybe not with this. And we're just looking for sequence two. And activate sequence two. Got it. Not that big of an ish, thankfully. So if we have all of our sequence stuff here, I should have I enumerator event sequence two. 
This one's going to be interesting because I don't think we have the thing that we need to be able to fully get this done with. Okay, so we want you to go to heat. No, wait. Not yet. First of all, we don't even have a sequence point. What am I doing? A sequence point two. Here we go. There's our sequence point two. Now I just need to take all of this stuff here. This one will not activate this, but it will activate uh, fast travel. And you will be two. There we go. So now I need to make another IE, whoops, IE numerator. Good. Fast travel. <clears throat> now the question is, how do I want to go about doing this? Wait for a second, so we'll just make this go by 0.5f. So I need to get a material, and I need to get multiple different game objects. Because I don't think I could just do this with one all-around game objects. I need to have multiple. <clears throat> so I guess I could do fast travel objects. And um, let's see, top light. I'll just go on ahead and copy this and utilize what I need to utilize. Grabbeth U. Top light, back right light. Whoops. Back left. Whoops, light. Front, no. Front, r right, light. Front, left. I could have sworn I had a space bar when I copied that. Maybe I didn't. Let's try it again. Maybe something stupid occurred. Um, middle, front, light. Damn it. Yeah, no, it, it just doesn't copy it. Middle, left, light. Jesus, brain. Middle, right, light. And again, middle, back, light. Alongside that, we need... What was it? Material? We'll call it uh, activated. And all we need this to do is just change it to green. We don't need to have a deactivated version. Deactivated version will be its default category. Now I just gotta go back, go to my event manager, and where is this at? Well, ain't that just annoying. I should actually, to make this easier, I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to go to each and every single... Wait, hold on. Okay, I see. F uh, top light. That way it makes this part easier. That's back left light. Back right light, back front light, and uh, no, front left light, front right light, middle front light, all right. Middle, right, light. Okay, hopefully this transition. I mean, if it doesn't transition, I'll just go on ahead and, uh, you know, delete it and put this in. It should transition. I didn't make any changes to it, so this should change the names of everything in there and the positions as well. And then middle, back, light. 
All right, now that all the lights are in position, I need them to move all the way down to the bottom. Preferably the bottom, so that I may be able to just have this down at the bottom and I can just grab all that needs to be grabbed. So the top here, the middle, and the below section, I believe. Back, no, you fool. Up here, you idiot, and a metal front light. Which should be good. Now, back up. Everything should be there. We go. Oh, that's so much easier. So, well, hold on a second. Back, right, back, left, front, right, front, left, middle, front, middle, left, right. Okay, hold on. So I don't have to remember this, I'm just gonna go on it. Well, I have this button for a reason. I'm gonna go over to my screenshots and hope, well, just in case something occurs, I'm just gonna put this up so you don't have to see anything personal. I don't think there's gonna be anything personal here. Yeah, no, there was nothing. We didn't have to worry about anything. All right, let's get that back up. Literally, it was just screenshot up oh, that. That. But it's not important. It's just some random person. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you the story. Some random person on this server that I am in a server called Crush Them All decided to send me a friend request. And I still have no idea what their plan there was because they haven't texted or sent me a message yet. I don't know who they are. I don't know why they're here. They're just there. I accepted it, because, sure, why the hell not? What else can I do? Okay, here we are. Top left, top right. Move everything here. I still don't really understand, though. Like, why, exactly? I mean, I could probably think of a reason why. You know, the game crushed them all. Well, I made a particular drawing of a particular character a few times. S uh, yeah, a couple were, um safe for work, and the other one is mature. That's one reason I can probably think of. Whether it's, you know, for, what do you call it, fan-related reasons, or from blackmail-related reasons that doesn't really work <laughs> against me because I couldn't care less. All I know is that that somebody there just randomly sent a friend request for no reason. Maybe by accident. Who knows? Maybe my friend code is close to my, uh, what you call it? Either way, I don't think it matters that much. Um, right, right, I just remember what I was doing here. I'm too tired to be keeping up with things right now. So now, I, I mean, even though it doesn't matter. Well, no, it kind of matters for at least these, because I had the idea of it just being boom, boom, ding, 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 and then laser goes up and the entire thing turns green. So knowing where at least these four are, and that, is important. There's our front right le light, our front left light, our middle front light. This one doesn't matter, though, because the camera's always going to be facing forward. I don't even think the backlight matters that much. Primarily because the backlight is kind of its own thing. You can't see it. There's no point in the game where you will be able to ever see the back of this thing. Just the sides and that. Not even if you were to go up, you still wouldn't be able to see it. Oh yeah, look at these levels up here. Does this look intimidating or what? I'm not going to show you the levels here just yet fully. I'm just showing you that the levels here have all been made. So that's good. My next step offline is to do some prefab adjustments, which is getting rid of most of this stuff. I can't select it right now, obviously. And then having enemies, some lava, crates, and stuff around the area. I think it would be a pretty cool idea. I still wish I could figure out a way to have this not be affected by the light, but still show itself, like, you know, through the bright lights in the darkness. Because I don't know if there's a way to do that fully. Right, 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 
Hold on a second here. Okay, good. So that's set. <laughs> I need to now go on ahead. So remember, front, right, left, back, left, back, right, and then top. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I guess. Hold on. I got an idea. One that technically is the same as this, the open thing here, but not fully. A private float called um, Activation Timer. Activation Timer. That I think is a pretty good idea. I'll go on ahead and uh, do the same thing here. If it's four, then activation timer is equal to zero, and activation timer is equal to one. I think this shouldn't be too difficult. It's, this is just making it so that the thing goes up slowly, which it is going to go up slowly. If less than zero will be red, if it's less then that'll be one. And the update department, I am going, no. Okay, then I'll do this then. <clears throat> Whoops, that's the wrong button. Fast travel color change, or in this case, material change. Well, actually, wait, why do it like that when I could just have it activate immediately here? Well, no, the activation timer is only really useful for one particular thing. Although I guess, yeah, you know, actually, hold on. Um... Well, let me see if I can remember how to do this. So, top light dot get com get component renderer question mark dot material equals activated question mark. Oh, you're not giving me an error. Did I remember it? I hope I did. Well, there's only one way to know if I remembered it or not. I don't have the player here. Give me a quick minute. Yeah, I know. It's not utilized yet. It's fine. It can wait a little while longer. It's going to get utilized. Do not worry. Shut up. All right, where is it? Take me to the player script. I'm sure I have the player's variables here. I should just leave this, at least put it over here. No, you idiot. What are you doing? Ugh, fucking Christ. I'm gonna go over here real quick. Okay. So if that's what that is, then I got it right. Woo! I got it right. Of course, I gotta go through all of this stuff, but it shouldn't be that hard. I'll do this. So all I gotta do is just do back right light. <sighs> Christ. Back left light. Front, whoops, front left light. I'm doing it in the direction that it activates in, even though it doesn't matter. Middle front light. Middle, I probably could just actually copy this. So all I have to do is just right light, then left, then back. There. The activation timer is just going to be there as a means to fill up a space.
It doesn't need to be utilized fully. Yeah, look at you. It's funny how it knows it's not fully being utilized yet. I guess it does have a sequence in mind to kind of just figure out what's occurring here. Okay, I'm going to go on ahead and grab this. So I can then use it here. We're going to have activated or activation timer. Same thing with this one, activation timer. And this one, activation timer. But I feel like this one should be much more slower. So like 0 0.001. And this one's a bit tricky because do I want to have the activations occur in here or what? <clears throat> it is a bit tricky. I could have it equal to a certain thing. Like in the update department, I could have it equal to. I guess that's kind of why I needed the update thing here. Let me let me actually do that one. Fast travel material change. If Activation timer is greater than, let's say, 0 0.01 or 2. Let me... So front right light is what we need. Yeah, like that, basically. Um... I'll just go ahead and retype it and just use this as a default while I get the others. Point <clears throat> three, point four, point five, and then point six, and then have it be maybe point nine for the rest of them. Right, so front left. I mean, this would still work. With the activation being the thing there, then that, yeah, that makes sense. Back left light. There's still this, this part of uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to do the sound bits. But I might have an idea for that to have it set to detect to see if the activation is, you know, there. But then how would I do it to where the thing only does it once and I don't have to have multiple things? I'd imagine there's some way to do that, right? Well, there's that at least. So at least when that does its thing, all the activation stuff will occur. Unless we were to have a the things down here do it. Because now what this is doing is doing that. What we would need now is an activation sequence. If I were to do... Okay, actually, better idea before I go into doing anything here. Let me go into here. I'm going to make... Where is it? I'm going to make level selected equals 6. Zone equals... Six equals six, you fool. And special event one equals three. I don't need anything else here unless I want to showcase that. That would be three, right? Yeah, it should be three. 
I believe. Three, three, six. Oh, well, if we want to showcase the exact percentage, even though it doesn't matter. That'd be the main path. Two, three, four, five. Right. Let's just see, and you should be working now. You should have everything you need. Good, great, fantastic. All right, let's just see. I don't know if this is going to fully work, but we're going to figure it out. I don't have sequence two, of course, that makes sense. And uh, now I just put you in here and I should do. Good, great. At least that stops everything and gives me, what do you call it? Activate, activate, bring, bring. Laser shoots out and then laser stops and then boof. And then it goes over here. And now we got that. It's green now! Fast travel unlocked! And the way the fast travel system is going to work here is going to check to see what the main path of the zone is. So for this, for example, this, for example, would uh, basically just go on ahead and um, detect if this is, uh, this number right here, these two, is higher than five or equal to or greater than six, depending on what the hell I have that set up. So that's taken care of, which is great. But now there's a certain creation thing that I need to do in order to make this fully work. At least I know that this works just fine. And if we were to say have this at four, this would be at one immediately. Okay, let's see. I'm going to probably have it be here, because I feel like that's the easiest one to do. We're going to have a fast travel... Um laser, I'll call it. This one's actually going to be a little bit interesting because technically it is not really a gameplay object, but it is a created object, which it makes me question how I'm going to go about doing that. Do I have any miss? Do I just put it in the point of interest? It also makes me wonder if I should have, like, all the gates, or activatable gates and all that stuff be in here instead. Um, you know, because if you go on ahead and look into this, it just all looks... Well, no, that is deactivated, but that's green. Yeah, there's a few things here that I probably shouldn't have, but you know what? Adjustments will be made. That's what matters, is that adjustments will be made. I'm going to go and make a created folder and call it uh, created... Um, POI objects or something. I feel like that would be the best place to put this. For instance, we're gonna, well, okay, well, it'd be better to make it here, first and foremost. So I'm gonna create uh, a cube. We're gonna call it lay, well, FT laser, but the, a different kind of laser, obviously. Also, I need to move this. Well, technically, I don't need to move this over there yet because I do want to have this be in a spot where I can... Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what this number thing is. It's going to have to change at some point anyways. Yeah, I'll just move it for now. You fool. Wait, where'd you go? Ah, oh, here you are. Get over here. Keep going. All right, now... Oh, no, you're too far. now. Oh. Up. Oh, I was so close to getting at it exactly where it needed to be. Okay, good. There we go. So, whoa. Let's remove that collision. Waste of space and waste of other particular things. And let's go on ahead and put player in here. Now I'm going to go on ahead and create an empty uh Well, does it need a collision? Unless we have it destroy itself after some time, then it does not need a collision. It just needs to go up and destroy itself after like a half a second. So this means I'm going to have to get a script made for this, so I'm probably going to go into scripts. Let's see, I got misc scripts, and this is not really a level hub though, actually. Event script, of course! No, but this is for different event stuff. 
I could create a folder and call it uh, misc event script. And then I'll just go on ahead and have another folder called event scripts for these particular types of scripts. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It doesn't even, it's not even up here right now. Get out of here. I think. Oh, wait, no, it's you. Level Hub is fine. Well, I'm going to open this up, back up again. Should be uh, good. Right. All right, I'm going to go create a new script now. We're going to call it F -T uh, Fast Travel Laser. I feel like that's simple enough. We don't have anything else named by FT Laser. We don't have anything else to be called an FT Laser here. Well, I guess the real question here is how is this going to work? So we need a variable. And we need to call it, let's see here. Just cool down. We need to then go on ahead, start deactivation. And all this is going to do is start a coroutine, call it destroy, assuming that doesn't do anything stupid. <clears throat> we'll have movement if cooldown is equal to false, which it is, it is equal to your fucking fool. And transform dot trans well translate. Let's see here. I think it's one. I think. God damn it. There we go. I'm gonna look. Y one. Right. It's gonna be created there. Um well, transform dot translate start coating. Uh, I don't think I can just call it cooldown. Could it? Could I? Well, first of all, that. And second of all, that's the wrong thing. Just call it C, uh, CD. Quick, easy, to the point. And we just have our coroutines, i.e., numerator. I really wish she would just go to numerator. I don't even know what the other ones do just yet. Cooldown equals true. Yield return new wait for seconds. 0 0.5f seems like a good amount. Wait, no. This is not the destruction cooldown. So I think, what, 0 0.05? I believe that's what I had for most of the movement stuff in the lasers department. <clears throat> then... We have, I don't know, what are you doing? The destroy should still work, yep. So yield, return, new, wait for seconds. That one is 0 0.5F. And then destroy, I think it was just game object, right? Yeah. So it moves by itself automatically and it does all of that stuff. There's a little fast travel laser thing. Now we need to create a script. Call it fast travel laser. Or fast travel activation. So we you know, don't have it mixed up. You know, it's not really that big of an issue. I'm going to go on to the fast travel laser, put this in. I'm going to go to here, put that in, right there. I am going to then go over to the... I think I don't need to worry about anything else here, so just go into the created POIs, put the FT laser in here, and just destroy this one. So we don't need to go down there anymore. I do need to open this thing up, so edit. So, variables, private, 
bool cool down. If it's just like the, uh, what do you call it, then this should work. And then we need, uh, I don't know. What did I call this one again? Start destruction. It's basically just the same thing, but different timing. <clears throat> and now I need a public game object called laser. I'll go ahead and separate this even further and just call it game object. <clears throat> I am going to have to grab a script from the lasers, though, because I don't instantiate enough to remember that by heart, unfortunately. If I remember correctly, I just needed to go to, like, down, up, or left, or whatever, so long as I can get the instantiate. Okay, so, if cooldown is equal to false, <clears throat> instantiate... See, I don't remember. Instantiate, okay. Laser transform dot position transform dot rotation parent I think that one's wrong transform dot parent right transform dot parent and just start the coroutine uh, CD Technically, I could just go on ahead and grab both of these, and this will work in the same department. All I gotta do is just change up some of the things here. This is the wrong one, you dumbass. What are you doing? Get over here. I need this stuff to be up top. Okay. 0 0.05 seems like a good number. So that way it just constantly goes on hand and creates it where it needs to create it. Yield return the new wait for seconds. It depends. Was that like two seconds? Two seconds destroys itself. All of those get destroyed as well. I think. Or wait. Hold on a second. There is also another thing. Fire, we'll call it. Or stop. We'll just call it cease. Sure, we'll call it cease. That's that's fine. Cease is equals to false. Goes on ahead, does all that stuff. Cease equals false. Then yield return new weight for seconds. 0.5f. Because at that point, it all should be uh, slowly disappearing off the screen before it even destroys itself. Because it's supposed to look like a laser is shot up in the air, indicating that fast travel was unlocked for you. How does fast travel work in this universe? Well, logically, you gotta think, how the hell does ice make you not be able to move in any other direction than the one that you're moving in currently? There's no logic in this universe, just gameplay stuff. But there is still, like, lore and stuff that we got set up at some point. How long have we been at this so far? 44 minutes on this one freaking thing? Jesus! Okay, it's fine. It's, everything is fine. We're, we're good. We're golden. So we got our fast travel laser. I'm going to go over to our created thing and put it here. Good. Great. Now I'm going to go on ahead, put this here, and delete this. Now that we got that set up, I got to go on ahead and go into the event system. I'm going to leave this stuff here in case I screwed something up. Wait, no, no. Leave that here. Leave the lasers down there. This is the part that's going to be a little bit tricky. 
Because I can't exactly have it be all like, ooh, 0 0.6. If it's equal to 0 0.6, do its thing. But actually, I am quite curious. I'm going to try it here. This is the wrong one. I don't want to be in gate open. Matter of fact, close gate open. I don't need it open right now. Same with the event sequence. I don't need it open right now. And I don't think I need this open right now either. I am curious to see if this works. If, let's just have activation timer equal 0.6f. It's equal to 0.6f. Well, I can't instantiate something that I don't have, so... Public game object fast travel laser. I'll just call it that. All right, let's see if I remembered. Instantiate. Um, fast travel laser. Transform dot position, transform dot rotation, and then transform dot parent. Also, I'm going to go on ahead and do a simple debug dot log, even though it doesn't matter. Activation for now. Okay, we're going to see if this works. I don't think it works. I think the wow thing keeps doing it until it does its thing. And then it goes over and does the rest of the statements. But this is a good test to see that. A good learning experience for me. So, activate, 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 laser? No, didn't work. So in other words, if I want this to work, it seems as though I need this to be in here, I think. So this will run its course, maybe, mayhaps, unless that fucks everything up. It could. It could. And I could probably actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Activation timer plus equals zero point. 001F. So that way it only does it once, and once it passes that, it's done. I don't know if this is actually going to do anything. I don't think, I, th I feel like now this isn't going to activate, but who knows? Maybe everything works like it should. So, activate. Okay, it's still activating. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Oh, it didn't do it. And the, the console didn't do its thing. Hmm. Well, maybe it's because this is below. But if that doesn't work, then the other option that we have is put in an update and see if it works there. Which, if it didn't update, that's fine. Because at least then that works the way it's supposed to work. Alright, let's try that again. Boom. Oh, too late. Boom. 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 Nope. Okay, I'm going to see if this is going to work instead. No, don't do that. Just revert. And let's go over to here. Fast travel laser creation. It could be that it's skipping 0 0.6, or it just could be the if statements can't work inside of while statements, which is strange that it gives me the option to do that and not give me an error, but who knows. Okay, it's just not working. Is it because you can't detect it quick enough or something? I think the only way we can make this work... ...is if we were to go on ahead... ...and have a variable here... We'll call it Fired Laser. And Fired Laser is equal to false. 
fired laser equals true, so it only does it once. And I, I feel like that's the reason why that's not working fully. And just so that we have this rolling and doing its thing. Wait, hold on. Actually, good question. When it activates, is it also activating this thing? How did I set this up again? And that's looking for the event sequence. What about getting the event stuff themselves? Actually, wait, hold on a second. Because what this is... Wait, how did I set this up again? Event path 1, then it goes to 2. Is this not having event path go to 2 when it does its thing, or what? On a start, it does this. Event sequence equals 1. When it goes to here, data, special event, plus equals 1. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Uh, I should have event path also plus equals 1. Just so that this continues, because, okay, so, special event one, this only does it once here, when it starts up, which means that if this occurs, or in this case, for example, this one, the fast travel, if event path is equal to three, and then goes on ahead and brings it up to four, and has that also be four. Although I feel like that's not going to help too much because of the whole fact that this is checking to see if that is here. Event path equals 3 would probably be best for something like this. So if we just cut that out. Because this still works even with all of that. Because what does this do again? Matt Cameron, okay, yeah, so in the beginning it checks to see, oh, so this is kind of pointless then. Because the data here is changed, which it needs to change. This does its thing, so this will just check to see if it's three. If for some reason I need event path to go up by one, I'll just put it in the end of here. Or here, that would work too. Well, unless there's multiple different data paths, in that case just do it at the end of the sequence. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Let's just say it's not going to be an issue, shall we? So if lasers, oh, uh, activation time is over 0.6F. Fired laser. Because I don't know if this is too slow in the beginning. Unless we have like a startup sound, which is like... And then zoom, 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 or whatever noises we decide to create for that. And then it goes on ahead and does a zoom noise or something. This should work now. If the activation is over, because this works when it's over it, I just think equal to is just not going to hit it quick enough. Unless this is not working. Well, now you're giving me a bunch of errors because I forgot to put the thing in. That would make sense. Which makes me wonder if that's the reason why this stopped working. Or why this is not working. Was this here before? I have no clue. My brain needs to get its head in the game. Its brain in the game. Well, either way, this will work. This will do what it needs to do. It at least activated. If that wasn't there, then that means it at least activated. Oh yeah, I didn't see the thing there when I was looking at the debug log, so yeah, nothing occurred. Huh? Wait a minute. Oh. Problem! It won't work like that. At least it won't work like from here. So then I need to have something called laser point, I think. Is that going to work? I'm going to see if I can make that work. I feel like that should be pretty easy, right? 
So this is going ahead public game object laser point. Thankfully with the fast travel stuff, all I gotta do is grab all the fast travel instances, change up the things for each event, and that should be good, right? Um laser point dot transform dot position. Is that not it? Unless I didn't name this right. An object laser point. Yeah, no, I did not name that right at all. Makes me wonder if that means the lasers will be spawning from there instead. It should, right? In all actuality, that makes sense. I don't know if I used this before, and technically I didn't need to use it before because the detections were the ones that needed to check for things. Put laser point here, then put laser point where it needs to be, all the way over here. Oh, also, where exactly is this thing being created again? Zero, zero, zero. And you're also zero, zero, zero. Although why it didn't go over to here, as anyone's guess. Because it doesn't really matter. All right, let me just do this so I can center myself around this point. Okay, so the laser point is there now. Why the hell is it that number? I have no clue. There, it's evened. So there's our laser point. Now it should work, right? This very simple thing should now work. Activate, 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 laser! Okay, the lasers could be adjusted a little bit, but it worked this time. It freaking worked, finally. Okay, so that means we want the destroy to be like a second later or something? A second later, and an activation of 45. And we'll just have this be a second later as well. This is assuming that the the map, or the map, the camera is where I want it to be. I don't know exactly. Is the camera where I want it to be? It's centered on the fast travel tower. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me try moving the laser point actually inside of here. That probably is why that's not working as well as I'd like to think it would work, be working. Right, cat? And we'll probably move this to 0 0.5. Where exactly is the camera's position here from this? Because figuring out where the sequence is is useful. It seems to be... One below that. I guess we'll adjust it as we see fit. This seems good, though. We just gotta make sure that all of the laser bits here are gone. Laser. Man, it's so slow, though. Let me see if I can speed it up a bit. Maybe it was 25. Honestly, I don't know what... Oh, it, it was 25. No wonder why it felt so slow, because it was 0 0.25. Or at least the activation here was 0 0.25. Then that means you should probably be 0 0.15. So you can keep creating the lasers at a reasonable pace. So it all looks combined. <laughs> now we should be fast. Technically, I don't think we needed the one. Is it going to be created on a laser point? No. If it's going that fast, I don't think I need this to be that now. I think it can be 0 0.5, because now it's doubled speed. The less objects we need to create, the better. This is the only way I know how to make lasers right now. And I'm hoping I can figure out new ones for when I get to a certain game that I want to remake that I've made long ago when Game Maker.
I've told you about it before. <clears throat> we still need sound effects, though, but at least now the fast travel tower is somewhat set. Uh, it could still be a little bit quicker. Okay, uh, 75 then? Seventy-five should work. As for you... I feel like I should make this thing go by a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Not too much. Twice the speed? Was well, it twice the speed? It is going to be twice as fast because of the, you know, how that works. Laser activation. No, no. Let's make it 1.5 and see what that is. We're fine-tuning it, folks. We're fine-tuning it as best as we can. Oh, also, I uh, want to make sure that it does not cast shadows, so turn that off. These are lasers. Do lasers cast shadows? Actually, do lasers cast shadows? Don't receive shadows. Yeah, no, you don't receive any shadows. You're a laser. Lasers don't cast shadows, right? Surely they don't. Anyways. Boom, 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 doom, boom. Perfect. Fast Travel Tower. See how the Fast Travel Tower and I are still green? I don't know why you're showing a line here. That don't make no sense to me, but it's fine. Boom. I also want to remake that icon. Well, we did it, and it literally took us an hour to do. So, that sucks. That means that the next one's going to have to be... Okay, I, you know what I can do at least? I can at the very least go over to here. Not go over here, precisely. Well, yeah, technically, I gotta remix both of these, right? Well, let me go over to... Well, first of all, yeah. Second of all, map icons. <clears throat> so where is the head bits? I need to grab only the head. Is that what I want to grab? Okay. I'm going to move all of these up here. I think. No, not in the lever, you idiot! No. Stop it. Are y'all co combined? Good, you're combined. I don't know what that piece over there is, but it's fine. Let me see some. Okay! Yeah, no, I can't just do that, unfortunately. So this would mean I would need to... Jeez, would I have to really just tear all that apart and try to just move it all over the place? Christ, man. I should have really figured that this was going to be a problem. It seemed like a no-brainer, really. Okay, hold on. I, f I feel like there's a way I could do this without too many issues. Okay, hey, here's an idea. I am going to create a head layer. No, you idiot. I'm gonna grab the head, the entirety of the head, not bits and pieces, the entirety of it. Is that everything? Good. I'm gonna put it all into here. There's the head. There's probably more components to the head that I need to get. Nope. You idiot! Move it up here. Why do you refuse to move it up there? Now I can do a 9... No. 270. Well, I should probably make sure that the head pieces are at the very least close to where the head is. Is that where the head is? That should be good. Okay, alright, so I gotta put, I gotta uh, adjust some of these things here, so what I'm gonna do 
I'm just going to move these for now. I'm going to put the head into position. Well, you're kind of a pointless piece, aren't you? Okay, good. I'm going to grab some segments of the... Why the hell did I have to build this in the most strangest way possible? Grab these pieces, you dingbat. No, you idiot. There. Is that right? I think it is, yeah. So you're here. You probably should go up then, if that's the case. And are you evened with this? That's the, the important bit here. I don't think you can be evened. Unless I were to e expand upon the skull's head, then that would be fine. That would work fine. Okay, that can go there. I don't think that changed up anything here. Didn't seem like it, at least. Uh, your dangly bit, that's not needed. <clears throat> Okay. No, give me red. We're getting somewhere now. Can I grab the black piece? Okay, remove that then. Delete you, delete you. Well, let me not fully delete you, but that's yeah, fine. It's fine for now. The black piece still there? No, I was a part of that. I think. You are a part, no. Oh no, you're that. Anyway, most of this stuff behind here is kind of unimportant. I will make adjustments as I see fit. Alright, I need you to move over here now. You to be three, two, two. Point five. Move it up. Maybe. Or move it inwards. Yeah, move it inwards. The bottom bit doesn't really matter because it's going to be slapped down on the bottom. Obviously. Wait a minute, something is off. Oh, of course something is off here because we don't exactly have that piece now, do we? I'm going to go on ahead, turn you to one, bring you over here, bring you down here. Nope. Put you here. Put you here. Equal. I guess technically I could just copy these and then just delete the rest over there. Making adjustments as I see fit. Okay, then there's the back of the skull that I do need to adjust at some point, but it's fine. I'll adjust it soonish. Okay, that's good. You should go back one. Skull basically has fire that's going to come out of it. I can't wait to get that one made because that's going to look pretty freaking cool. Alright, so we got some skull bits here I gotta copy and do things with. Wonderful, great, fantastic. I'm glad to see that you're still finky as always. I can always count on you to be the most finny finickiest thing in the goddamn program. Alt, not space, you fool. Like, why does it do that? Well, first, well, technically. No, wait, here, not there. Well, technically, it's kind of unimportant. Alright, let's just expand you. Can somebody give me, like, a reasonable explanation why this keeps happening? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't look like anything screwed up. It's just, number-wise, it's giving me the most strangest look here. I, even, I think, like, even if we were to go all the way in, it would be such a minute difference, it would barely even be noticeable. From looking at it from this direction, it seems like it's very normal. But if you go into here and look at the numbers, oh, look at that, it's all off. What is the reasoning behind that? Why is it like that? Why is it built like that? It doesn't make sense to me. 
None of that makes sense to me, Vector. That's why I call it war. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, wait, no, nine. You've got to be nine. No, technically you gotta be eight, but you gotta be 0 0.5. I really just can't fathom why that is like that. It really doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't be like that, right? It really should not. Hmm, this is a good question. You think I should move this inwards? Nah, it's going to be shown. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. I'll probably have this do this then. And I'll have this be five. I don't think I need this bit. So we can delete all of that. The only thing I do declare I need to do is move this over here and make this wrong number, make this five. Wrong section. Hmm. These damn insects! They keep spawning. And I keep killing them. But they keep spawning. Why do these insects keep spawning? Why? Anyways. Um, nine. I don't think that's a nine. I think that's an eight. Yep. <coughs> Another eight. Wonderful. Alright, I'm just gonna make this one a four so I don't have to mess around with that. And as for you, well, I'm gonna have to mess around with this anyways. But hey, it's a one, I think. Yeah, it's a one. Wait, what about you? Oh, wait, you're all black. It didn't matter. Well, technically, with the way that is set, none of that would have mattered. All right, eight, 3.5. Make it four. Fill it up. I could probably pull this back and put it here and then move this over here and boom. The skull. There's probably multiple pieces here that aren't needed. Like this stuff down here, this is not needed. It's only not needed because now it's kind of just hidden from the entire viewpoint here. And that's just there to cover up most of that. So yeah, there we go. The, the new and improved Skull Lever. Well, technically I probably should go through all of these and change them all to block. And do the same thing with these bits here. I can't get rid of this head, so I guess the head will stay. Technically speaking, I guess... What is this? Well, that's just part of the lever. I'll put it all in the head. Doesn't really matter. Nothing changes. It's all the same thing. I think. Shouldn't change. Now what do you look like? Oh, that's so much better! Well, despite the fact that the bottom is actually not finished fully. But that's an easy fix. Delete this. Move this here. Make this... Now this is the right number. Alright, how's that? So long as you can't see the inside, it should be... There's no, there should be no way to see the inside. Well, that's not good. Unless you look at it from beneath the map, but I don't think you can no clip in this game. Well, where in the hell did you go? This is why we look around and see if we missed anything. Oh, I deleted that piece. Right, of course, that makes sense. Well, now you're that. You are all fine, but now you're that. Why was that piece like that? I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, actually, first of all, was that white or black inside? It was black inside. Okay, yeah, that's an easy thing to, to do. Oh, now this is looking weird in the direction that it's in. And it doesn't matter, everything looks weird in the direction that it's in. I'm apparently building these in the, in the wrong direction. I don't know how, I don't know why, but that's just what we did. That's what we're doing. That is just how it is. Okay, you see that white bit there? I don't know where the hell that white bit is or what it's connected to. Matter of fact, it has no purpose. 
That white bit has no purpose, so we removed it. You? You kind of also don't have a purpose. Why are you here? There's probably going to be a lot of leftover bits and pieces here out of this mess of a, a build. But it works. It's good now. We're, we're golden. Just changes all the blocks. <clears throat> good. Great. I'm still not fully done yet, but I can at least move this where it needs to be in the position it should be in. Well, you're going to be in the way regardless, so why don't I just move you over to here? Move you over to here to try to hide the skull lever a little bit, I guess. Um, good question. Could I just move you here? Will you have any problems? Technically, you shouldn't. And you should, because when the intro does its thing, it's probably going to show the player, like, going up the staircase right here. And the camera slowly going in. Not like slow going in that far, but the player goes up here. Then it would probably cut all the way up to here, with the player going up this. And then it would cut up to here, which will then showcase what is going to be, not this. This is not, if we're going to do like movie magic thing, where not all of this is here. Where it's going to showcase the player probably right here on the edge, similar to the thumbnail in the Game Crafter's thumbnail thingy. With the volcano probably right here. I mean, okay, hold on. A little sneak peek at a drawing that I'm working on. Even though I'm pretty sure you're going to see that yesterday. I'm going to open up the paint maze map. <clears throat> Real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on after I'm done recording this. Come on. I know you... Okay, while well, that loads, should be a mountain here. Volcano, middle mountain, and a mountain here. You good? Good, great. I'll just open this wide so I can have all of it in view. <laughs> also, let me just do this so I don't have to have me put down a thing. So, according to the map, you, the player, looking over the edge is right here. Oop. That would mean that the volcano probably would be somewhere within that direction? Question mark? Right here. Looking off in that direction, the frozen mountaintops, middle mountains over here, volcano over here. Yeah, because if you, if you see the thumbnail, then you'll know that it's slightly different. There might be some trees. Well, maybe. Let me go back in. If the player is right here and all this stuff is hidden, there's probably going to be like a volcano over here. Probably see like the front yard still, kind of. But a volcano in a distance will probably do like a screenshot by placing all of these in position. Mountain, another mountain, maybe some trees over here. Well, that's the thing. I don't know exactly how this is going to be, like, set up. Because it could be, like, the player is here. Or not, maybe not here. Maybe, like, the player is, like, right here. Because if the mountains are, like, very high, very far away, like, right over to here, and they're high as hell, theoretically, you should be able to see the mountains, or the volcano here, and the, volca uh, the mountains there. That's kind of the idea that I have in the intro screen. Scrolling through all the, the levels that you we have, or the levels, the zone, not all the levels, all the zones, not all the zones. Confusing as fuck now, I'm trying to speak here, I know. It scrolls f through a, a few zones, basically, does its thing. Then it goes on ahead and gets to this point eventually where it shows the player going over there, and then that's where it starts. All with the narrator lady talking. Also, I fixed this number here. I don't know if you've noticed it, but there was a question mark there. But we know how many there is now, so there's no reason to not have that there. I gotta check some things first. And I do kind of want to adjust something. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be a little bit quick about this. Uh, where is it? Not here. Uh, blocks. Take me to the skull ever real quick. I, I didn't need to do it like that. I need to see where this is at right now. 
Huh. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, it does still kind of unfortunately meshes in with that because of the way that's said. But there's an easy fix for that. What was it? One? No. Negative one. There we go. If you look to the side, it looks like a skull. But if you look to here, it does not look like a skull. It does not look like a skull at all. Yeah, because if you look at the containment, that's... Yeah, containment lever. Yeah, the lever's in that direction. The skull's facing that direction. So yeah, it works. It's fine. Woo! Well, technically, you need a little bit of an adjustment, but that's still fine to me. There is, however... Because this is no longer accurate... And I'm going to adjust that now. Why not? I have the time. I'm going to at least get the skull lever stuff set up, and maybe we can get a head start on the other stuff. I mean, well, there's still the fire. fact that we have to animate fire. Well, animate fire. I have a very cool workaround to make an animated fire without having to go about actually trying to figure out how to do it in Blender or something. Uh, level icons, right. Well, I gotta see something for a second. So that's the death icon. It's a skull. But we don't want the skull to look like that. So, whoa. I have an idea on how I can adjust this. Also, real question here is... What did I do to... Oh, level, lever icon. So basically, I just got to adjust. Well, I mean, I could just delete this thing and then put the new thing in. No biggie, I guess. All right, where is the center again? Right here. Well, actually, good question here. Let me go over to my map icons. What do you look like? So we want to try to, like, replicate this, or we could just try to go on ahead and, I don't know. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to just go on ahead and take a quick picture of this on my phone so I don't have to do, like, anything special. There we go, let's unplug that. Uh, oh, sorry. I forgot I got my wires entangled for a moment. <clears throat> no, 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 what are you doing? Don't move that, you fool. So that's the center. Well, let me do this so that I don't have to worry about this being all over the place and being weird. This might be slightly larger, potentially, most likely, indefinitely, indubitably. There's no way it's not going to be larger, in all honesty. <clears throat> Let's just move everything around where it needs to be moved around in. Definitely is going to look weird, looking like a nice... I mean, actually, no, that is... That is actually pretty cool, now that I think about it more. You're in the right spot. It's basically just a strange-looking skull shape. Am I right? It doesn't look like the skull that we have in our current department. Um... Nah, that looks too jack-o'-lantern-like. Uh, well, actually, we could just do it like this. Oh, no, not here. Yeah, there we go. And then we just go and do this. Get these two icons changed to icon. Perfect! Now, the real question is, do I really want to have to go through and rebuild it again here? Well, I'll just go on ahead and take a quick picture of that as well. Go over to here. 
Yeah, we got the empty version. Basically, it's just... Wait a minute. Yeah, hold on. I'll go here real quick. So wait, is it like right here? If I go here and go to this thing, that's a negative four. Wait a minute. This is... I, I have an idea. You'll see in a minute what idea I have. There's no reason to have it set up in the way that I have it set up. All I gotta do is basically just delete all of this. And assuming that that's in the right spot, which probably isn't. So that should be a 9, I believe. That should be an 11. Save myself some space, you know. 13, another 13, another 13. 11. 9, I think. Five. There we go. So now you have oval, rectangle, key. I like that, actually. That's a lot better. Th I'm glad I actually did this, because, you know, that's a hell of a lot nicer looking. Of course, now I have to adjust you a tiny bit so that you're not in the most awkward position possible. So, negative... I'll... Nine, eight, five, seven? I have no clue. Where are you at right now? Not seven. Uh, I don't need this here anymore. <clears throat> not seven. Not six. Is eight good? It's a, I mean, eight seems good, but are you good is the question. Well, there's a good way to figure that out. Three. Well, that doesn't help. Not when I can't see shish. What about you? Nope, can't look at you there. Uh, let me go to my lever text, lever progress. Ah, lever progress. There you mm. Well, you're wide too, so I don't see why I can't just move the both. Well, actually, leave it there because I can still figure out where you need to go. I can help that way. Yeah, it's like zero, one, two. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. Are you slightly off? You're slightly off. It doesn't matter if it's slightly off, so long as it's actually going where it needs to go to. So there's our little lever progress. Of course, this also means I need to go on ahead into the, uh, where is it? Here. I need to go into here, scroll over to here, and see if this is good. Oh. Well, that part's good, but what about this part over here? Let's see my levers. Oh, perfect. I didn't even have to change anything. Good. Great. I'm glad. I like that better. You just see, you look at this, you're like, skull. The hell is that supposed to mean? It doesn't immediately tell you that it's a lever quest. Where you gotta pull 33 skull levers. Skulls, 33, I wonder what that means. Could be a boss fight, unlikely. Although if I were to ever make a sequel to this game after like maybe a few DLC zones that I make later on at some point, because if I'm making DLC zones, they're going to be incredibly difficult. And if I want to have like a star system for the files, I don't know where it would be because there would be like seven stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the last star. So it's like one here, two here, three here, four here, five here, six here. And if you get the coveted seven, seven here. Which to get seven, you got to complete all 999 levels without dying once. That's going to suck. I would like to try that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And there's also a speed run where you have to beat the main game in less than a certain amount of time. I thought it was going to be an hour, but that's not the case. Also, I did some math here, and the quickest route to get to the end here are both the A path and the B path. A path is 60 levels, and the B path is 63 levels. But the A path has very, six very difficult levels that you have to get through. And, uh... 
Yeah, it's it's a doozy. So, uh, see that motherfucker right there? These two are bad, but this motherfucker... Oh, you don't know how much this motherfucker sucks right over here. I completed it once, but I struggled to complete it again. Which makes sense, because if you look at this right here... Do not... Okay, you're doing it. You're doing what I told you not to do. If you look at this right here... Wrong zone. Boom. It takes you over into zone 6A. See? 2 over here. Then the 3. Go down to A path. 4A. Then it brings you over to here. 5A. Then it brings you over to here. 6A. If you go down the A path shortcut, you're, you're essentially skipping 40 levels here. I believe this one you skip, it's up to 21. So you're skipping just like a little under 4 zones. Right, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, yeah, 22. Two. Yeah, a little under four zones worth, which is a huge freaking leap. Then there's the B path one, which is relatively simple until you get to this path over here. This one that gets you into the Ember Foundry, which gets you the closest to here. The problem with this is, there's a very specific mechanic in this game that I have showed you before. That is very hard to perform, and I don't even know if it's going to be performed as easily. Anyways, I gotta check something real quick to make sure that the, the thing that I have here is good, so let me just hide this and this real quick. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be the case here. <laughs> it makes me wonder if I should make these smaller. That was a good question. I mean, can I? No, I can't. Alright, where are you at? You would be in progress, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do I have the empty set for this one yet? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's my prefab scan and map? No, level icons. I don't. With the key icon, it makes sense. Because those have to look like that. I'm going to do something real quick. So here's a lever icon. Uh, what direction? Okay, so you need to be 4? 4.2? 5? I'm going to try something. But first, I'm going to go on ahead, duplicate you, voice log empty. Lever icon, lever icon empty, voice log icon empty. And get me out of the game screen. Which is really just a, a square. And again, I don't know why the hell I did it like this. It's, well, hold on a second. Let me make sure that this is where it needs to be. Okay, 11. Good. Move this out of the way real quick. Delete these real quick. Put this back down. I'll do the same thing here. 11. Moveth. Deleteth. Oh, I probably should do it in this moment, so I have an easier time doing this. Then I just gotta delete some of you, but not all of you. I need to at least leave some open. Eleven. Okay, so you can go here and put it at eleven. You can go here, put it at eleven. You can go here, put it at eleven, and you can go here, fill up the last spot, put it at eleven. There's that. Technically, this key icon counts as empty. I will call this empty, but I don't really need, because the key icon is going to be what it is. I think the, the thing that's going to separate the key icon with the rest of it is the fact that it's, oh wait, I need to go here. It's going to be something else entirely. Okay, so now I just need to figure out what this was at. 50? Why is that 50? Does make any sense. Oh, because of the way that's set, right. Well, we're just figuring this out. So what is this? 0 0.075? Or I could just put it here or something so that this thing stays where it needs to be. Yeah. 
So, I don't know. 0 0.7 foot. What the? Oh, wait, because you're rotated, so you need to rotate. Wait. Huh? Why are you doing the thing? Oh, wait, because you're not where you're supposed to be. 0 0.5. 0 0.6. 0 0.11. 0.75? I don't know exactly. Hold on. 75. Oh, because you're not what you're supposed to be. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Even though that one doesn't matter. I mean, even though it doesn't matter, I feel like I should make these 0 0.0075. No, wait, it does matter. Okay, make you 0, then. I just need to see if this is going to go in the spot it needs to go in. Nope. 5. 4.5. No, no, not 4.5. 4.75? 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75. 4.75
Christ. That's annoying, because you gotta... Huh? Ah, wait, what? Okay, that's, that's how that works. I don't have to double click, I just gotta move it. I just gotta take the mouse off and then click it. Well, there you have it, folks. We got at least this set up. We adjusted the skull levers icon. Next up, we're going to get the uh, events for this one done with. And some fire animation. Or at least perceived fire animation. But I guess before I go, I can show you a little bit of this level. Just a little bit of this level. Yeah. If you know what any of this is, you know it's going to be a pain in the ass to complete this one. But if you want a speed run, you got to get used to it. I'm not doing, I'm not playing level because this is just, I, I don't want to get distracted with this, but just know that there are some hard levels in the first zone. You can skip those levels, obviously. And these levels here are not hard, but they're a tad bit challenging because, you know, skull lever and all. And plus, you know, you see how you had to go to get to here. You gotta press this key multiple times. One, two, three, four, five, within a spam of a half a second. So you got these here, and then you got three more difficult levels that will be coming when I start making the sixth zone that's over here. Or zone 6A. So yeah. Logically speaking, any average first-time player is gonna see this be confused as to how they're supposed to get to this thing and be like, all right, whatever, I'm just going to go to this one and move on. Anybody dead set on trying to 100% a zone are probably going to try to figure out what to do here, struggle with that, and if they are you know, not persistent in their endeavors, they'll continue down the path, or if they are persistent, they got six very difficult levels to get through. And speedrunners are going to try to get good at the game to where they can dodge enemies effortlessly, get their timing right like that, and can just make these levels their bitches. As I speed run to the end in less than, and not less than, in exactly 60 levels. That's the lowest amount of levels that uh, you can complete the game in. I thought it was less than 100, but it's actually less than 60. Even so, that's like, what, can you complete a level in a minute? If you could, then that would be less than an hour. If not, then I don't know, two hours, an hour and a half. We'll see when we start making more zones. Right now, we gotta get this event system set up. We gotta do achievement pop ups, voice lock, sub menu, world map. And while I am off camera, I'm gonna work on getting some prefab stuff adjustment, adjusted. Maybe put an enemy here, some lava and crates here and here. More enemies and stuff. Delete all of these water bits down here so there's one less game object to worry about. That kind of stuff. Really. But that's all for today, folks. I gotta record another video. We've almost been at this for two freaking hours. So thank you all for watching today's episode of Game Crafters. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more. Check out that their playlist, and of course. <laughs> recent episode of Game Crafters right over here. And the most recent episode of Tales of Pesaria right over here. A lot of rage in that episode. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.